The aftermath of yet another accident on Poland's roads. The country ranks as one of the European Union's most dangerous for drivers, with more than 4,000 road deaths on average each year. The first week of December was the deadliest so far this year, when over three days, 52 people lost their lives and 350 were injured. Authorities say there are a number of factors behind the worrying statistics. Many Poles don't have the means to buy new cars, so they buy bad quality second-hand vehicles. And over the past 20 years, the number of cars in Poland has spiralled, while the construction of new roads hasn't kept up. As a remnant of its communist past, Poland's outdated road network compares poorly to Western Europe and is largely unprepared for the level of traffic generated by its growing capitalist economy. The majority of traffic relies on local roads where thousands of trucks crisscross the country and overtaking can be hazardous. Poland also has some of the EU's weakest legislation on dangerous driving. In line with the legal sliding scale, fines range from about 5 euros to 125 euros. They haven't risen in Poland for about a decade. Our scale of fines is very driver friendly. Over the past year, however, police have stepped up efforts to tackle road safety with a range of measures, amongst them more of a focus on drink driving and a fleet of 29 new vehicles equipped with mobile speed detectors. Our job is not to arrest or pursue lawbreakers, we just take the pictures. On a good day, this device can log up to 200 breaches an hour. As 2012 draws to a close, the hope is that the coming year will start to see real progress in the battle to improve Poland's start record on road safety. Tom Bailey, BBC News.